Hi, I'm Adam, thanks for stopping by. And in this video, I'll be taking a look at the BBC Microbit and showing you how to program a compass. Now, if you've not come across the BBC Microbit before, it's a very inexpensive microcontroller that costs around about 12 pounds. So let's go ahead and look at doing this right now. Let's get started by looking at how the compass should work. Firstly, I'll draw out a compass. North at the top, south at the bottom, west, and east. We'll need to know what degrees these are for the code. North is 0 degrees, east is 90 degrees, south is 180 degrees, and west is 270 degrees. Now I need some way of telling that if I'm facing this way I must be facing north, or if I turn this way I must be facing west, and if I turn this way I'm facing east, and finally if I turn this way, then I must be facing south. Since this compass is only going to show north, east, south and west, I'll need to work out what tolerance I'm going to use for north. Let's colour what is to be considered north. So I'm going to class anything from here to here as north. Halfway between north and east is 45 degrees. And halfway between west and north is 315 degrees. We'll need to remember these two numbers when we come to do the programming. Next is east. So if I'm facing between here and here, I'll want to display east. Halfway between east and south is 135 degrees. So anything in this blue area will be considered east. Next I need to work out the values that the compass will consider as south. If we are facing between here and here, then I want the compass to display south. So that is between 135 degrees and 225 degrees. Therefore anything in this orange area will be considered south. Finally, what is left is anything between these two points, which must be west. Now we have the values that our program must look for to display north, east, south or west, so let's jump into the coding. Head on over to microbit.org forward slash code. You'll see that there is a choice of two editors. The first will look familiar to anyone who has used Scratch before, and the second is a Python editor, where you can directly type in your Python code. Today I'm going to use the first editor. So click on the button, let's code. Once in the code editor, you're going to need to click new project and give it a name. I'm going to call this project compass. I want my code to run forever, not just on start. To delete the start block, just right click it and select delete block. The first thing we need to do is create a variable to store the compass heading in. Click on variables, then click make variable and now let's give our variable the name degrees and finally click OK. Now drag in the set degrees block and place it inside the forever block. We now need to search for a compass heading and drag that into the set degrees block. This tells the micro bit to store whatever the current compass heading is into the degrees variable. We now need to check if we are facing between here and here, and if we are, then we need to display that we're going north. So we'll need some logic. Grab the if block and drop it into the code under the set block. And now we need some more logic to compare two values. To see if we are facing north, we need to check what is stored in the degrees variable and if it is less than 45 degrees or greater than 315 degrees. So change the drop down to OR. Let's bring in our variable to check it. So if degrees is less than 45 or degrees is greater than 315, we must be facing north. Now we just need some way of letting the user know this. We can use the show string to write n to the display to show to the user that they are facing north. Now we can expand the if statement by clicking the plus symbol and then add some more logic to test for the other directions. Drag in another comparison block and drag in the degrees variable. We now have else if degrees is less than 135 
then show string and set to E. You can duplicate existing blocks by right clicking them and selecting duplicate. So what we are looking at here is, if degrees is less than 135, then we must be in this region, so facing east. We don't need to worry about anything less than 45 degrees since this was taken care of earlier on in the if statement. Expand the if statement again and duplicate the previous comparison block and change the value to 225. Duplicate the previous show string block and change it to s because if the value in the variable degrees is less than 225, we must be facing south. We can ignore any value less than 135 because this was taken care of earlier on in the if statement. Finally, we don't need to make any other checks because the only direction left is west. So just duplicate the previous show string block and change it to W. Click the save icon to save and download a copy of the code. However, before we copy the code to the real micro bit, I just want to show you that the code editor also has a testing window. To simulate rotating the micro bit, just click and hold here and then drag it around. So look, I'm currently facing north and as I rotate, it changes to east. Keep going around and it changes to south, then west, and finally north again. Let's try this with the real micro bit. The downloaded code is now in my downloads folder and to put it onto the micro bit, just drag and drop. If prompted, click yes. During the download, the orange LED on the micro bit will flash rapidly. And the very first time the code runs, it asks you to fill the screen by tilting it. Tilting like this is used to calibrate the device. So keep moving the micro bit around like this until you move the flashing LED to each of the 25 LED positions. And as you do, the screen will slowly fill up with illuminated LEDs. The micro bit confirms it's finished with a smiley face. I'm actually facing south, so where I'm sitting it's actually like this. If I move, it should show east. If I keep going round, north, and then west. That works pretty well. It's quite a nice little compass. However, what if I want to show an arrow that always points to north? Well, we can do this by getting rid of show string and instead using show LEDs, and you'll find this in the basic options. Here we can draw an arrow by clicking on the individual LEDs that we want to illuminate. Then it just becomes a matter of duplicating this and amending the arrow accordingly. Now when I test the simulation, you can see it behaves more like an actual compass, with an arrow always pointing to the north. I'll save this code and copy it to my micro bit. Again, I must tilt the micro bit to calibrate the compass, so keep going until the screen is full. Now as I turn the micro bit around, the arrow always wants to point to north.
Hopping back into the code again, you can see that this was achieved quite easily using the pre-made programming blocks, but what if you wanted to see the JavaScript that resides behind these blocks? Then just click JavaScript at the top of the screen. Here we can see line one defines the variable degrees and sets its initial value to zero as we haven't yet read in the value from compass, so we don't know what it should be. Line two is the start of the forever code and then line three is where we read in the compass heading and store the results in the variable degrees. Line four is the start of the if statement where the code compares the values in degrees to the values we calculated earlier and then outputs the appropriate pattern to the LEDs. That's the end of this introduction into the BBC Microbit. I do hope that you enjoyed it and that if you haven't already got a Microbit that I've inspired you into purchasing one or maybe you have an upcoming birthday where people are asking you what you want. These are a really great low cost way of getting into coding. Thanks very much for watching.